I'm working on the LS swapped Mustang. The, uh, it's got a 78, 75 VS Racing Turbo on it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a fresh set of plugs in it. Uh, the car now has a 6 liter in it due to uh, some issues we had uh, earlier this week. So uh, I'll go over that in a little bit. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these changed out and then get the uh, base fuel pressure uh, reset on it and uh, start making some pulls on it. And I pulled the plugs out that we had in it um, yesterday. And they looked pretty decent, so I'm going to start uh, putting a little more timing in it and uh, cranking the boost up a little bit on it. I'm going to try to creep up on the number that we're trying to make. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get at that, and then we'll uh, get to a few uh, dyno pulls and uh, doing some tuning on the uh, Holly Dominator. <laughs> So taking a look at the data log from that last pull, uh, that's about 9.2 psi out of the turbo, and um, we're looking at uh, we're a little rich at 11.5. We can probably back that down a little bit. And let's see what else. Um, and we're about 11 and a half degrees of timing. So uh, still pretty conservative on this tune-up. We're gonna probably go ahead and throw a slightly bigger wastegate in here or wastegate spring in it and turn it up a little bit and see what it does and then uh, from here may start uh, just adding a little bit of uh, percentage on the uh, boost controller itself and uh, a little bit of duty cycle to it see if we can uh, turn this boost up just a little bit but uh, so far everything looking good uh, making plenty of power so we'll see where we uh, go from here all right So after that pull there, uh, I've got the duty cycle turned up to about 30%. Um, right now we're looking up at the uh, top of the run there. We're at about, yeah, right there, 10.9 AFR, 11 degrees of timing. Still keeping it conservative, not trying to grenade anything. This is a street car. Uh, he's going to be taking this on the power tour uh, this week. So I'm um, trying to keep it safe, but we've got, let's see, our boost, we're at 11.6 PSI on our boost, and that's at 28.2 on our duty cycle. So I'm um, going to go ahead and actually uh, ramp it up a little bit more, uh, try to get it up, uh, probably put another, I'm going to try to put another pound or two in it and see, uh, see if it takes, probably leave our timing alone. Uh, right now our air fuel looks good uh, base map seems pretty safe so gonna uh, get that done and then we'll uh, keep going from there Alright, so wrapping up here, um, car did really good, um, ended up having some crankcase issues because the um, 
the car doesn't have a uh, catch can or anything on it. He's running the stock truck PCV valve on it. Um, so it's blowing a lot of oil smoke when he looks. <laughs> of it and the um, it's actually starting to push the rear main seal out of it um, a little bit of blow by it's a it's a basically a stock truck six liter bottom end um, the car originally came in um, last week with a 5.3 in it um, heard some noise after we made a dyno pull and long story short come to find out whenever he was putting the motor together he found a, or he broke off a piece of a punch and it had fell in the intake, which he was unaware of. Somehow it had lodged itself in the top of the head when he first started it up and it never made any noise. We made seven dyno pulls before it released itself from the top of the head and started tapping. So uh, he took it home over the weekend, had a six liter junkyard block sitting there, put it all together, threw it in the car. And that's where we're at uh, with it today. So, um, wrapped up. Car made good power. It's got more than enough for the street. Um, don't know if he wants the horsepower numbers printed yet. So, um, if he does, if he doesn't care, I'll post them at the end of the video. So, anyway. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Get out of here. Um, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, and uh, check us out, homestune.com. And uh, we'll catch everybody later. See you.